Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Vahim Mehta bringing you another tutorial today on Tone Curves. I'm gonna show you how we are gonna go from this to this. From this to this. Now the reason I wanted to do this tutorial is because I realize a lot of people still are not quite sure how exactly do you go about using the Tone Curves panel because you do have your settings in the basic panel with your contrast, with your highlights and your shadows uh, but basically when you do it in your Tone Curves it gives it a way more relative feel to it and stuff because it's based on a mathematical curve it looks way more natural, it looks way more subtle when it comes to moving from your highlights to shadows that that change that transition looks so much more pleasing to the eye and it makes your image pop quite a bit so now before we jump right into it I just want to explain what exactly an histogram is which is basically what you see right here so if you look at the histogram of your entire picture which is right at the top um, of your Lightroom panel if you go on the extreme left you can see it's, it shows all the blacks uh, this shows the shadows if you go to the extreme right this shows your whites and this shows your highlights So this is exactly what the data is represented over here You can see we have way more data in the darks and the shadows and that's because of her hair her jacket the background and stuff We don't have much in the highlights as you can see We just have a bit of the sky over here a little bit over here and a little bit on her cheek Now just to give it that punch uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a center point over here I'm gonna create two points over here, one for the highlights and one for the shadows. What I'm going for is a traditional S-curve. You must have heard this term being thrown around on the internet a lot, which basically means pulling up your highlights and bringing down your shadows. Now, as you can see, this looks pretty good. It looks a bit too dramatic because you have a lot more data in the shadows and blacks, and I kind of don't want to darken this a lot. I want to darken the overall image. So I'm going to just take this and as you can see there's less data in the darks over here so this kind of represents an overall uh, shadow look so I'm just gonna come here and drop down this a bit yeah that looks about right now as you can see this looks pretty good like you can see the image is popping a lot there's a lot of contrast there's a lot of vibrance it's a lot more punchier this is how it looked before this is how it looks now and if you want to give your picture that faded film look, you can come to this point and just kind of raise it a bit to give it that dramatic, moody look that you see on Instagram uh, being used a lot and stuff. And yeah, that's about it. It was a short tutorial, nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated. It's easier to do, just bump up your highlights, just bring your shadows a bit down to give it a bit more punchier look. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Let me know what you guys think, if there's something else you want me to cover in the next tutorial. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.